I'm going to show you how to make a cute frame to hold your girl's accessories for their hair. I chose this frame right here because I wanted a frame to fit behind the, the hallway door. So this frame fits nicely behind the door. Otherwise, I mean, ideally I would have chose a frame for their closet, but we just didn't have the space in there. So basically you can choose any frame that you want, any size, and this happened to be a picture frame. So all I had to do was just take the backing off and the glass. Otherwise at Hobby Lobby they do sell just the frames too. Then my daughters picked out this color and it's just a two ounce color and it is enamel. I wanted some sheen to it. And then they, the girls just painted this frame two coats of color on each side. And then I chose two ribbons and you can choose two different ribbons, one, three, it doesn't matter. And with one ribbon, I wanted this ribbon to hold their headbands. So what I did was I made loops. And so I guess you have to figure on about twice as much ribbon if you want to do this. And what I did was I just about, oh, like two and a half inches apart, I gathered ribbon and I sewed the ribbon as a loop. So on the bottom I started with two inch loops to hold their wide headbands. And I did two of those and then I did a couple one and a half inch loops and a few one inch loops and I think I did three quarter loops too. And that's just simple. All you have to do is hold the ribbon and sew a straight line. If you don't sew, you can buy liquid seam and liquid seam is just like glue and you just put a strip of it on the ribbon, fold it, and let it dry. There's also iron-on seam too. So I have one long ribbon, the length of my frame, plus a couple inches extra for headbands. And then I cut two ribbons for hair clips. And again, I just cut the ribbons a few inches longer than the frame just to play with it. And also for the project, I did buy these hooks and I bought these to hold rubber bands and the, the stretchy headbands too. And with the hooks, I'm going to screw them to the bottom of the frame. And then I found these smaller hooks in with my nails, so I thought, well, I can use these too. And I'll just put these in the center to hold rubber bands again. So I have my ribbon, my frame, and a hot glue gun. I'm not very handy where I have um, an electric nail gun, otherwise you could use the nail gun, but I, I love my hot glue gun, so I'm going to try and adhere the ribbon with that. So I just, I already marked on my frame where I would like my ribbons to go. And again, just do that, use a tape measure and just kind of space it out to where you think it looks good. So with this black ribbon, I'm going to go ahead and figure out where to start it. Put a small strip of glue, putting it on the bottom and on the side. Push it into the glue. have to let it dry a few seconds. Cut away the extra. And 
then one more strip of glue, just in case. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my other ribbon. A strip of glue. I'm going to start this one at the very end so I don't have to cut anything away. Push it down. One more. Do the same thing. Okay. Push it into the glue. Do the same thing to the other side. Clean away the extra glue strands. Flip it. Just want to make sure this glue is dry before I glue the other end because I'm going to be pulling it nice and taut. So that looks good. tight on that end, so I'm going to go ahead, put the glue down, pull this straight, and press it in there, keeping the ribbon tight. ribbon and I have the the frame marked where I want the ribbon just to make it easier so I'm not playing around and trying to make sure it's straight. Another strip and the last one is the ribbon for the headband. Tight again. One more strip. There we go. Now I just have to cut away the extra ribbon. This is so easy. It's a fun project. I'm just tired of having clips all over in the bathroom drawers and the closet floor, clips that we forget about, so this will keep it nice and organized. Now the bottom of the frame, I already pre-drilled the holes and I'm going to attach these hooks. these hooks at my local home improvement store. They had quite a few to choose from. They even have them in a, like a, I guess like a black patina, as long as the silver. I believe these hooks right here were 327 and the smaller hooks they had for, I think around 107 for the two. And my ribbon was $3.99, that's buying it half off at Hobby Lobby, and I have lots of ribbon left over, so I'll, I'll be using that for scrapbooking. And my frame was, I believe I paid $14 for that, so this is a very inexpensive 
fun project to organize all those hair ribbons and I will show you what it looks like hanging up.